All right, let's take a look at number five. In question number five, we're being assessed on how to find the percent of a whole. All righty. Question five reads, a bakery made 80 muffins. They sold 36 of those muffins. What percent of the muffins were sold? Okay, so the part is 36 and the whole is 80. All right, so 36 out of the 80 were sold. So what is that in percent format? That's the question. All right, so let's take a look at the formula, another formula that you can access on our website, matgotserve.com, um, is the formula for finding the percent of a whole. All right, so how do you do that? So to find the percent of a whole, what you do is you divide the part by the whole, either um, using long division or you can just use reduction of fractions and multiply your answer by 100. We're gonna do this in two different ways um, for you to see and whichever method that you like, um, you can employ, okay? All right, so method one, we're not gonna use, we're not gonna use long division, we just use reduction of fractions, all right? So method one, we're gonna use reduction of fractions. All right, so, in this particular case, let's adapt this uh, formula to the particular scenario that we are dealing with right here, okay? So what we're looking for is percent of muffins sold. So percent of, percent of muffins sold is going to be, um, um number of numbers sold divided by total all right this will give us the fraction sold as part of a whole okay multiplied by 100 let's do it so we the number sold is what 36 all right so 36 divided by um the total is 80. So this is the fraction sold, part of a whole. So let's convert this to, so we're gonna multiply this by 100. What does this multiplication by 100 mean? Well, it's just converting your fraction into um, percent form, all righty? But if you divide this using long division, you end up with a decimal, and then you just multiply by 100 to convert it to uh, percent. So let's see, how do we reduce this? How do we reduce these product of fractions. So first of all, express 100 as a fraction. And let's see what can we do here. Uh, we can divide out the 10. So if you divide by 10, you just cancel out the zeros. And then let's reduce. Um, does 8 and uh, 10 have anything in common? Yes, they both have 2 in common. So we can divide 8 by 2, which would give us 4. And then we can divide 10 by 2, which will give us 5. 9, I'm sorry, 4 and 36. Do they have anything in common? Absolutely. They, have, uh, they will have 4 in common, right? So we can divide top and bottom by 4. So divide 4 by 4, that's 1. Divide 36 by 4, that's 9. Nothing else to reduce. Multiply across. 9 times 5 is 45 over 1 which reduces to 45%. And there goes your final answer. The answer to number five is option letter D. Okay. So let's take a look at another method of doing this. Method two involves long division. We're gonna use long division and then decimal to percent conversion procedure. So uh, it's no different from what we have here. So this fraction right here, 36 over 80, we're gonna divide it, all right? We're gonna do a long division. So 36 divided by 80. So the top dog goes in the dog house. So the numerator goes right here and the denominator goes on the outside. 
Okay, so how many times does 80 go into 36? 80 is bigger than 36, so a number can go into something that's smaller than. So what we're going to do, put a decimal point and add a zero right here. How many times does 80 go into 360? So to do this, we say how many times, look at the first int, the first digits, okay? So um, how many times does 8 go into 36? How many times does 8 go into 36? 8 goes into 36 uh, two, four times, right? All right, so if you do your 8 times table, that's what you get. It goes into 40, um, 36 four times. And then four times 80, I'm sorry, four times, yeah, four times 80 is going to be 320. So you multiply these, you have 320. And then you subtract. And what do you have left? Uh, six, minus four, um, six minus two is four, 40. All right, so how many times does eight go into 40? Eight goes into 45 times. Okay, so uh, we have to... All right, so since five is located in the hundredths place, we add a zero here first. All right, so you wanna make sure that the digits line up perfectly. All right, so um, let's go back down. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, five, uh, eight goes into 45 times, 80 goes into 400 five times also. So five times 80, you have 400. And then when you add it all up, you end up with zero. All righty. Okay. So we can clearly see that 80, I mean, 36 divided by 80 is 0 0.45. Okay. So how do we convert 0 0.45 into percent? How do we do that? Well, all we just do is we divide it by one, just like we did in the first problem. And then we're going to 1.0. Move the decimal point an equivalent number of places until the denominator is 100. Okay, so we're going to move it two places. One, two. Bam. So in the numerator, the same thing. One, two. Okay. Easy way to convert from decimal to percent is to move your decimal point two places to the right. That's exactly what we're doing here. I'm just showing you the mathematics behind it. You have 45 over 100. Well, what does that mean? It's 45 per cent. Okay, think about cent a century. 45 over 100 is 45 per cent. Okay, so just keep in mind that 0 0.45, 45 over 100, and 45 per cent are all exactly the same thing and you should be able to convert from one to the other, okay? We have decimal, fractions, and percent. Answer to number five, as we can clearly see, is option D. Okay, so which method do you prefer? Go into decimal and then convert into percent or just reduction of fractions? Let us know in the comment section below which method you prefer and then why. Or maybe if you have another more creative method, just, just specify it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies um, for the Accuplacer or arithmetic in general, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload math tutorials to our page on a regular basis, so just subscribe so you can get um, notification of those updates. If you have any questions or comments, as indicated earlier, just um, post it in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to support 